Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate password and set that updated password to credential. It means as I already told you in one of the video that is generate password, I told you about how to generate a random strong password if your application password expires, right? So if password expires, you need to generate that password and then you need to set again that password that updated password to the credential so that next time you can get that recent credential recent password so now here we have used get credential and after getting the credential we are trying to enter those credential like username and password in our application but that says that that is expired right so what we need to do after that we need to generate and then set that latest password to the credential so we'll take another action here double click on that right here generate and set password and from the business object we will select here credential and our action will be generate and set now here in the input we need credential name username expiry date length uppercase lowercase numeric and additional character but out of this we just required few things there we require credential name because we are going to set the updated password to the credential so first we need that this one then we need username so that we can update the password against only the specific user so either you can take other data item and then you can update your specific username and you can update here otherwise here we are first getting the credential so that's why we'll take our this username because on runtime we'll be getting our value here and then we need length because this length will first generate the password so i am going to pass here 5 huge uppercase so i am going to write true and then here also we can write at least at the red and then in the outputs we just need to take here one password so that we can store there so we'll take the same password currently it is showing as a text but let me change this one because this is a password we have manipulated this so that we can see the password now let me take this password here click ok link this one now right click set next stage step by step now here we are getting our username and password so currently we are not able to see that so let me just change that to text right click set next stage step by step now currently our username and password is this bp and this password is password in a small letter now here we'll generate the password and we'll update that now you see here we have generated a password and now we have updated the here that is this is our current password now this password has been set to our credential manager now let me reset this right click set next stage step by step and now you can see here our current our current password is this one because now we have updated our password in the credential manager so i hope you like this video if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video